We start this morning with the annual military exercises that begin today. South Korea and the U.S. are holding their Ulji Freedom Guardian drill amid escalating tension on the Korean Peninsula after Pyongyang's launch of two ICBMs and its threats to strike the U.S. territory of Guam. North Korea once again has been vocal in its objections, warning Seoul and Washington that the exercises could lead to a catastrophe. Kim young starts us off. The Ulti Freedom Guardian exercise, which will run from August 21st to the end of this month, traces its roots to the joint South Korea-U.S. command post exercises back in the 1950s. Tens of thousands of South Korean and U.S. troops will participate in the drill to help evaluate and improve combined military procedures which are critical to the defense of the Korean Peninsula. This year's drill, much of it computer simulated, will be similar in size to that of last year's. But it is not known whether the U.S. will be sending strategic assets. Admiral Harry Harris, the commander of the U.S. Pacific Command, is currently visiting South Korea to inspect the joint exercise. North Korea, meanwhile, has long denounced the drills, seeing them as a rehearsal for an invasion. During last year's Ulti Freedom Guardian, Pyongyang test-fired a submarine-launched ballistic missile, followed by a fifth nuclear test a few weeks later. On Sunday, the North warned that Seoul and Washington are adding fuel to the fire and driving the situation on the divided peninsula into a catastrophe. Tensions between North Korea and the U.S. have risen in recent weeks as their respective leaders exchange harsh rhetoric. Pyongyang had threatened to fire four ballistic missiles near waters off the U.S. territory of Guam, but backed off his threat last week while key U.S. officials played down fears that war with the North was imminent. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.